Man, man, man. So I got to call out Stephen A. Smith again, man. Stephen A. Smith is the king of backhand compliments. We all know what Nate Robinson has been going through. Nate Robinson has been revealing his health issues for quite some time now. And yeah, man, as we can see right here from the article from foxnews.com, they reported Nate Robinson had gave an update about his health and his kidneys. It says three-time NBA slam dunk champ Nate Robinson shares health update. Don't have long if I can't get a kidney. So that's the most recent update Nate Robinson had revealed. And Stephen A. Smith, took it upon himself to go on his YouTube channel, do what he always does, give backhand compliments. And he pretty much condemned Nate Robinson for boxing with Jake Paul, playing in the NBA while he had kidney issues and other things that Stephen A. Smith was talking about on his podcast. And I would like to highlight that in today's video. And then after that, I'll be right back with some more commentary for you guys. So if you do support my YouTube channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That really does help my YouTube channel continue to grow. So let's check out what Stephen A. Smith had to say about Nate Robinson's most recent health issues, man. Before I get on out of here, I just wanted to take a moment to address an issue involving former NBA player Nate Robinson. Two years ago, after revealing he has kidney disease in 2022, the 11-year NBA veteran and three-time slam dunk champion told the Daily Mail this week he does not have long to live if he doesn't get a kidney transplant. Robinson has spent the last four years searching for a kidney and shared he would only survive, quote, a week or two, end quote, without a dialysis machine. Robinson learned of his condition in 2006 while playing for the New York Knicks. Doctors said at that time he had high blood pressure, which led to damaged kidneys and would eventually lead to where he is now. Robinson said he used to tell doctors not to check his blood pressure, just to ensure he would be allowed to play in games. A professional athlete Potentially compromising their health is nothing new. We've seen this on many, many occasions, maybe not in this particular or specific situation, but certainly athletes put their health in jeopardy all the times. But I think it's a rare occasion, dare I say the only occasion in this instance where I've seen something of this ilk, where doctors told you back in 2006 that high blood pressure could compromise your kidneys. We're in 2018 you knew that your kidneys were failing. And yet still, on November 28th, 2020, you step into a boxing ring with an individual by the name of Jake Paul, who was bigger and obviously more skilled as a boxer because he was literally training with professional trainers while you were simply playing basketball. What in God's name would make you do such a thing? Some could speculate as to whether or not you needed the money or anything like that, but if you're talking about putting your health in jeopardy, that certainly did it. Last time I checked, boxers take kidney shots all the time. And if I recall correctly, it wasn't just shots to the jaw upside the head of Nate Robinson that were absorbed. There were a couple of body shots that were put in there by Jake Paul as well. My heart goes out to Nate Robinson I wanted to bring attention to this story because I wanted people to know if there's a way to help him, please feel free to make that concerted effort to do so. It takes a lot of courage for him to come out in the open and reveal what he has revealed, particularly how dire those circumstances are. I wish him nothing but the best. I'll definitely pray for his well-being and him getting his health in order. But I do find myself scratching my head as to you knowing that you had full-blown kidney failure and you required dialysis and somehow, some way, you got into a boxing ring in 2020 against a guy as big and as strong and, dare I say, as gifted as Jake Paul. What on earth were you thinking? That is what enters my mind right now. Outside of that, I just want Nate Robinson healthy. And I think he told the world because he's crying out for help. He's letting us all know that we need to be aware of what's going on with him. So if there's any way possible we can help him, we'd be willing to do so. That is why I decided to end today's show by addressing this subject. I hope he truly does get the help that he needs and that his health will be restored so he can live a long and prosperous life. By the way, take care of yourself 
and stop taking crazy risk. Don't ever do that again. Hey guys, so that's what Stephen A. Smith said about Nate Robinson on his podcast, The Stephen A. Smith Show. And I felt some way about that. And when I was reading the comments, I realized a lot of other people was feeling the same way, as you guys can see right here. Look at these top comments from Stephen A. Smith's podcast. These are his own fans calling him out, saying like, yo, you didn't even have to talk about boxing and all of the other stuff that Nate Robinson has been going through. Because it's like, how come every time an athlete goes through something, whether if it's a health issue, some family issues, or whatever the case may be, Stephen A. Smith and other guys like him, they got to talk about every single situation the athlete has went through just to give a backhand compliment. Stephen A. Smith has the credibility and resources to reach out to Nate Robinson. As a matter of fact, if Stephen A. Smith really cared to bring more awareness to Nate Robinson's health issues, he could have had Nate Robinson come on the show. Because I just recently saw Nate Robinson on OG's podcast, Playmaker with Udonis Haslam and Mike Miller. So it's not like Nate Robinson is not doing interviews. They just recently dropped a podcast episode with Nate Robinson. So Stephen A. Smith, he could have did the same thing had Nate Robinson come on if he really wanted to bring awareness to his health issues. Stephen A. Smith did the old media tactic. He wanted to call out Nate Robinson, condemn him, and bring up a lot of stuff that really doesn't matter at the time. Because at the end of the day, if Stephen A. Smith really cared about his health issue, that's all Stephen A. Smith would have been talking about was how can we bring Nate Robinson on a show, bring awareness to his health issue, and then Stephen A. Smith could have moved forward from there. The other stuff Stephen A. Smith talked about on his podcast was absolutely irrelevant. And I would love to hear you guys' opinion as well in today's video. So be sure to get in the comment section down below. I would love to hear y'all thoughts about today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you made this final video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. Comment down new sub if you're a new sub. Catch you guys in the next video and we out guys. Peace.